Hello, Rosa. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Um, good night. Um, I'm fine. Um, Do you I'm feel fine better? Because to the better, um, hello? better health. To better health. That's it. Great. So today you feel good? What? Today is good? Yeah. Great. Okay. Are you taking medicine? Yeah. Yes. Amoxicillina. Um, um, yes, I, I put my the lemon. Lemon tea. Lemon tea. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, it's typical. But you sound better. It sounds much better. So today, no fever? No. Great. And what did you do today, Rosa? Uh, today. 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 <laughs> what did you do today, Rosa? Uh, um, so hoy? Nah, Rosa. Today, remember, you're going to go to advance. Today. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, um, uh, wait, uh, wake up, uh, uh, wake up, level, um, como se dice la medicina, mi bebé? Medicine? To my baby? Mm -hmm. you, you gave medicine to your baby? Yeah, because... Is a sick. Um, yeah, I had two foreign cities. Okay. And uh, so, so, um, that we, that we, that medicine, let, um, but uh, I go to the bathroom. I have a uh, two. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice lavar manos? Wash. Wash my hands. My okay. hands. And then to prepare breakfast of my baby. Super fun? What? What super fun? Uh, uh, you prepare breakfast. Ah, okay. I okay. So you prepared breakfast. Okay, great. Oh, my baby, because uh, my baby is I. My baby is a uh, ten. Mount, um, okay, Rosa. Therefore, uh, I eat uh, food, okay, I, I more solid. I don't understand, Rosa. I, I think you're confusing the pronouns. Do you eat solid food? Uh, ajá. Comida más sólida. Tú, tú comes comida más sólida. No, ma, mi, mi bebé come más, más comida sólida. Okay, so no I eat. Remember, no I. That, it, you are confusing that the pronouns is no I, but my baby. And good, Rosa. Thank you very much. Remember, Rosa, to practice your verb in the past tense. All of the activities that you did today, you didn't explain in the past. You explain in the present. 
and like this, no job in the call center for you, Rosa. You have to know the verbs 100% in the past tense, okay? Okay. Good, excellent ideas, but practice the grammar, the verbs in the past tense. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. I'm glad that we have several people. We are going to go ahead and continue. Today, we're going to go with the past models for opinions and advice. Remember yesterday, we looked at the past models like would have, could have, might have, all of those were a little bit of the past. We're going to watch the video one more time just to help you understand and be clear before we start our practice, okay? Understanding. I would have borrowed someone else's notes. Hi, welcome. We will now study past models for opinions and advice. Don't go as we are sure this is going to be useful for you. Past models for opinions and advice. Giving opinions. You should have called her on the phone. She shouldn't have kept your notes this long. Giving advice. You could have been more understanding. I would have borrowed someone else's notes. I wouldn't have lent them to her. Giving opinions. When giving opinions, we may use should have or shouldn't have. I will give you two sentences. You should have called her. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. In the example, you should have called her. Molly is giving an opinion. She thinks Michi was wrong to send emails. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. Michi is giving an opinion. She thinks Molly was wrong to keep the notes. This is the rule. Subject plus should, not plus have plus participle. When giving advice, we may use would have or could have. I will explain the meaning of would have like this. I wouldn't have sent so many messages. Molly is imagining this hypothetical situation happening to her and saying she would have done things differently. This is the situation. There has been a misunderstanding about you at work with a workmate. Type in an opinion as well as an advice using past models. Okay, so as you can see, the most important is that we're talking about Both for opinion that happened in the past and you are giving your opinion or your advice many times it has to be like when you regret something or you think about something that happened like oh eh, my ex cheated on me or i did something wrong or my boss discovered something this is the idea for past models and advice in this moment before we're before we start working on our exercises in the knowledge check, we're going to practice a little bit of speaking. Uh, with our partners, we're going to make uh, partners or pairs, and we're going to have in the WhatsApp, sorry, not in the WhatsApp, here in the chat, not in the WhatsApp, but in this chat here in the class, there is a link. And that link is going to give you access to many different questions. In the questions, all you have to do is click on the next one, and you're going to have different questions. You're going to have one question, your partner is going to have another, and the idea is you're going to answer them, okay? Using would have, could have, might have, should have, all of those different models in the past tense. It's okay? Good. I see a little confusion, so let me clarify. Would have is your decision, the decision that you would do in the past. Could have is the possibility, no a decision, is an option. I could have gone to the movies. I could have gone to uh, Galaxy Bowling. These are options. The decision I would have, this is the decision. And should have is your opinion that you give to the other person, right? You, you should have, and then what your suggestion is. It's okay, the differences? Um, yes. Yes? Okay, great. Of course. Excellent. I'm going to share the link one more time for those that came a little bit late. That way we have a little bit of time and access to open them up. Make sure that you open them. 
All right. So let's take a moment and with our partners, ask and answer using the correct grammar. All right, let's make our groups and let's go for it. Teacher. Yes. I think I I push something wrong. Okay. So let's try. Let's try sending you to another one. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Let's see if we can do this. Let me see. No, teacher, I, I guess I, I have to re restart the, the app. Let me try one more. Let's see if this one works. Click accept, Gladys, and let's see. Hey. Hi, teacher. Hi, Yanni. Please, we need your help. <laughs> what happened? Can you provide us, us the link in the WhatsApp group? No, because I'm not in WhatsApp. I am on the computer. Uh, <laughs> okay. Are you on but... WhatsApp? Yes, in WhatsApp, because in, in the in the chat of Zoom. Uh, okay, and okay. Ah, thanks, teacher. <laughs> You're welcome, Jenny. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Of course, of course. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Share with us, how do you react when someone forgets your birthday? Learn the following nouns for discussing reactions. An assumption, a criticism, a demand, an excuse, a prediction, a suggestion, a suspicion, a warning. So do you jump to conclusions? What happens when he or she doesn't answer your call? Type your assumption, we won't tell them. A criticism, a demand, an excuse. We announce for discussing reactions. An assumption.
Okay, any questions, any vocabulary that you needed? No, it's okay. It's okay. Yes, teacher, no teacher. No, no, no escucho nada, teacher. Se le fue el internet. Yes, no? Yes, teacher, it's okay. Okay, okay, so lo, uno tenemos internet, okay. All right, great. And the others, it's okay, not okay? It's okay, teacher. All right, thank you so much. It's okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. okay. Hoy, ahorita acabo de entender esos memes de, lo, de los seans, como que si están buscando los muertos. Hey, are you there? Are you there? Yes? Okay. Sí, al fin entendí como que me dice. Ah, All right, no tiene reunión y hay, nadie contesta y todo, ¿eh? Ajá, ajá. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Let's go ahead and try it then. Let's continue. It's interaction. Let's see if we can do this. Okay. So if we are clear, let's try it. Number one, what would be the idea? Would have, could have, should have. What would be number one? Could have dressed. Could have dressed. Okay, good. Past participle, always um, regular verbs are EDs. Good. What about number two? Would have asked. Good idea. Great. Okay, who's two? Who's two? Who's got it? Could have told. Okay, could have told. Good. The next. William have planned. Ah, in negative. I like it. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have Should stayed. Been. Shouldn't. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't have stayed. Okay, good. Should have started. Should have started. Okay. Yawning. Yawning. Yes, yawning is the. Uh, that is the yawning. But, yeah, yeah, but but the platform asks that you write down the, the word yawning. Should have started. Oh, the platform asked that you write what? The word yawning. Oh, very strange. We're going to check in just a second. Okay. Thank you so much. And the last two.
wouldn't have paid. Okay, I wouldn't have paid. And the last one. Shouldn't have, have been invited. invited. Spade, P A I D. Sorry, thank you. Shouldn't have, have invited. Have invited. Okay. There we go. Let's take a look. All of those we have could have dressed, would have asked. I'm going to take a look at the one that you mentioned. Um, very good. Wouldn't have lent, shouldn't have stayed. Yeah, it's necessary to put in yawning. Be careful with this one, then number three, because normally you don't have to put in the word. Mm. I imagine you had to try many times to try to figure that out. Mm -hmm. Probably the first time you did was should have started and then you try to figure out little by little. But so be careful with the yawning one. That is one that is necessary to put in. Are all the vocabulary words okay? Everything from here? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Great. What is dented? I don't know what's that. Sorry, Lillian? I I I don't know what you mean dented. Okay, no problem. Gol Como golpeado. A little bit, <laughs> right. It's kind of like that. Dented is when something like the door, the door is flat, for example, and you hit it. Aboyado. Yes, that's dented. Very uh, okay. nice. Mm -hmm. What is hint? What about hint? What is hint? Like a score? Mm. Or a, a no. Not a no, score. I, uh, like a clue? Exactly. Like a clue. Like a tip. This In is the Great. Okay, so we are clear with those words. So now we're going to be looking at some reactions. This is mainly vocabulary. The idea of this is mostly vocabulary and just for you to see some of the words, then we're going to complete with the partners. Okay. So here we have several different words. Let's take a look. We have the words an assumption, a criticism, a demand, an excuse, a prediction, a suggestion, a suspicion, and a warning. Do you understand these words? And suspicion. Suspicion. What is that? Suspicion is like when you think something happened, when you think um, your boyfriend is cheating on you or your girlfriend is cheating on you, you have, you don't know, but you have a suspicion, like that feeling. But that is the, the number seven, but the number one is the same. An assumption, no. A suspicion is uh -huh. like a suspect. I, I think, right? An assumption is I assume, I make a decision. Mm. So, it's for not, example, it's not, not clear. Not clear. Okay. So, for example, uh, when I asked a question and no one answered, oh, I assume the internet is frozen in your house. This is what I decide because I have experience. I know the things. A suspicion is uh, if I see you go over, I, I think there is another person there. I, I suspect because I see you moving your mouth and your camera is off. Oh, Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And warning. A warning. A warning is what you tell somebody or when there is mm, advice before the situation. Like in your job. In your job, if you go late to your job, they give you a warning and they say, if you do again, we're going to discount your money. Or if you Something do it, like you're going to lose your job. This is the warning.
It's okay warning? It's like an, uh, an alert. That... Yeah, it's like an alert, Gladys. That's right. It's like an alert. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. So now, what are we going to do? Well, with our partners, we're going to... Suggestion, suggestion is, is like a, an advice or something like that? That is correct, Gladys. It's an advice or a recommendation. That is a suggestion. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So here we're going to take those words and you're going to read the sentence. And with your partner, you make a decision. This sentence is what? Is it an assumption, a criticism, etc.? All of the sentences are something. What do you think they are? We have, as you can see, eight sentences. And with your partner, you are going to make a decision. Each sentence is describing what? Okay. Okay? Okay, teacher. Great. Hang on. Let's make these again. Let's try the groups. So eight sentences, eight minutes, one minute per sentence for you to discuss and make sure it's clear with your partners. Astrid, do you have problems?
Hey, Jenny, what do you think is number one? Uh, number one is a warning. A warning, okay, good. Luis, what's number two? Okay, no, Luis. Gladys, what's number two? Uh, that you were out with another woman. An assumption. An assumption, okay. Good. What about number three, Lillian? What do you think is number three? Uh... You can be so inconsiderate, a criticism. A criticism. Teacher, a it, criticism. It will, it, I can change my answer. <laughs> it's a suspicion, a the suspicion. number two. Okay, no problem, no problem, good. Rosa, you have a question or you want to participate for number four? To participate. Okay, Rosa, what's number four? Uh, uh, so a suggestion. A suggestion, okay. Okay, all right. Um, what's number five? Number five, Gabriela? Now you have to take me out to the inner choice. A uh, demand. A uh, demand. Okay. All right. Okay. What about number six, Alejandra? An absorption. Uh, you must have wanted to break up with me. An absorption. A suggest. Uh, an assumption. Yeah. Okay. Good. Assumption. Number seven, Walter. Number seven. You know, you ought to buy me flowers. Uh, a suggestion. A suggestion, okay. All right. Okay. And Astrid, number eight. It's okay. You must feel really sorry. It's an excuse. Okay. Let's take a look. As we can see, we have, what happened there? All right. We have an excuse, number eight, excellent. Number seven, a suggestion. Number six, an assumption, great. Number five, a demand. Number four is a prediction. No, a suggestion, it's a prediction. Okay. Number three is a criticism. Number two was a suspicion, and number one was correct, a warning. Okay, is that a little bit better to make sure we understand all of the words and what they mean? Uh -huh. Yes? Yes, teacher. Excellent, excellent. All right, so let's take a look and make sure we got it. We're just about finished with unit three, which is excellent because we also have the exam coming up. Right now we have a little bit of reading. The first part we're going to read together to make sure that it's clear and then we have the right pronunciation. Maybe it's a little bit big, there. Who would like to read the first paragraph? Me, teacher. Okay, please read the first paragraph, Lillian. Okay. Recently, a biology teacher in Kansas a state in American Midwest made national and never international news after Christine Pelton discovered that 28 of her 118 students had plagiarized, 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 plagiarized. Yes part of a major project. She gave them failing grades. Although this was the school policy, 
the student's parent complaint. The school board directed Mrs. Felton to change the punishment. They told her that 600 points should be taken from the offer from the offenders rather than the entire 1,800 points. Mrs. Felton resigned in protest. Okay, good. Who is paragraph number two? Who's going to do paragraph number two? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Jenny. Why did this become so, such a significant story? Perhaps it's, it is because so many people feel strongly about what is right and wrong. Uh, although the incident may soon be forgotten, it raises some important questions. What is, um, give me a second, I don't see. Plagiarism? Some question, what is plagiarism? How mm -hmm. serious is it? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Great. It's okay, the vocabulary up to now. Are there any words that we don't know? What is plagiarism? <laughs> plagiarism is when the people copy from another person. Oh, plagio. Like, uh huh, correct. This is plagiarism. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, who's going to read the next paragraph? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Gladys. Could you zoom out? Yeah, yeah. please. More? This, the simple? The simplest, yes. Yes, yeah, the simplest form of plagiarians occurs when someone copies material without giving credit to the source. However, there are also more serious forms, such as when a student pays someone else to write to write an essay. Mm -hmm. Essay. Essay. Thank you, Gladys. What does mean? An essay. An essay mm -hmm. is um, a long writing assignment. Usually is many pages that you have to write 500 words or a thousand words. Depends. This is the essay. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Great. Who's going to read the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, Carlos. Uh, some people claim that copying is, is necessary to do well in the school. They have realized that their own words are not so good as someone else. Another common argument is that everyone does it. So it's not a big deal. In fact, it has been learned but it was some highly respect figures, including Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, mm -hmm. How plagiarized. Okay, thank you very much, Carlos. Appreciate that. Good. Are we okay so far with the vocabulary? Yes. It's okay. Not, not yes. a big deal. Which one? Uh, it's not a big deal. What is the what? meaning? And it's an expression that people use when it's not important. So everyone does it. So it's not important. It's not necessary. That's it's not a big deal. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Good. We have two more paragraphs. Who's the next one? Hi, teacher. Thank you, Rosa. Um, 
will draw some people find reason to to justify plagiarism other feel is clear for the feel is more yet wrong and the consider is telling a term of idea rather than money these people will live in that student who who plagiarize 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 Um, benefit um, pilot the the they the save it the save it creo que se pronuncia no receive receive a better rather than they deserve okay Thank you, Rosa, for reading. But Rosa, most of the words you were reading were not pronounced correctly. The only like five words were pronounced correctly. It's important that when you have time, practice more reading out loud or imitating to improve your pronunciation. Okay, Rosa? Okay. Thank you. Are there any words you don't know? Yes, stealing a tip. What's mean that? Good. Stealing. Stealing is the same as theft. That's why it's uh, the line, the dash. So stealing is when you take something like maybe in the bus, they take your phone. This is stealing or it's the synonym of theft. But here they are referring to stealing ideas, not stealing money. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay or no? Uh, stealing is when you use something that is not sure. No, not use. You take. You take something. You take. Ah, okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. And unfairly? Uh, please repeat. Unfairly, right? Unfairly. Unfairly is something that is not fair or not correct. So. If you plagiarize, this is not correct. This is not fair for the two people because you don't pay. It's like before when you bought the movies, the, when you bought the movies for $1 in the street, it was unfair for the actors and for the directors because they don't receive the money, but they work to make the movie. This is unfair. Like, injusto? Correct. Correct. Okay. okay. And the last paragraph, who's going to be the last paragraph? Me, teacher. Thank you, Astrid. So what about the incident in Kansas? Was the original punishment too severe? Do teachers have the right to tell students and parents what is right or wrong? Miss Belton will probably say that the job of a teacher is to do exactly that. Okay. It's okay or any any questions about the vocabulary? No. No. Okay, great. So now that we read, now we're going to do two things. We have questions that are true or false, which more or less is like fact or opinion. This is that yes is the information is from there, or opinion mm, is only personal, not real, okay? That is the idea. So we're going to answer if it's fact or thing. Today's in towns are right. That makes it a little bit of weird, okay? Because these don't have to do with the reading. It says, today the town of Silver Cliffs have a population of 100 people, okay? Oh, is that fact? or opinion? Fact. A fact, thank you very much. Why? Remember, the fact is something that is not going to change. Something that if Gladys looks, 
is the same. Gavi looks is the same. Jenny looks is the same. This is the fact. Opinion is changed with my eyes. For example, she is beautiful. He is handsome. Change because it's opinion. Every person has different. But facts is facts. It's always the same for everyone. It's okay? All right. So we're going to answer the questions, fact or opinion. And we're going to paraphrase the reading. The reading is you have to tell in your own words you have to summarize all of the reading. Explain in the, your own words the reading. So two activities. Number one, answer fact or opinion. And number two, explain in your own words all of the reading. What is happening? What is the problem? What is the solution and the opinions from the reading? It's okay, the two, the two tasks, the two activities? The first, you said that it will choose one of that. And the second is? From the reading, in your own words, you have to explain the reading. Imagine I didn't read. Imagine, Lillian, I didn't read. Explain to me the reading. What is the problem? What is the solution? Uh, why are they upset? What happened? In your own words. Okay. Okay. Good question, Lillian. It's good because I'm sure other people have the same idea. Any other questions? Teacher. Yes, please. In another, in another uh, things that I read in different uh, newspapers and uh, uh, another things, I found that word fat like in fact. What does it mean that in fact? is in reality. In reality. Yes, in fact is different than fact. Fact is this wall is yellow, it's a fact, not change. In fact is not correct, in fact this wall is yellow, no. In fact is for in reality different situations. Okay, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, are we ready for the groups? Yes. Yes? Okay, excellent.
Okay, let's check the answers. Let's make sure it's clear. What about number two? Five. Four. Okay. Number three? Five. Okay, good. Number four? Opinion. Okay. Number five? Five. Okay. Number six? Opinion. Okay. I have to say, I think this is from a different reading. I now report it, but just so that we are clear on what it is. So here, all of those are correct. You can see we are right with facts and opinions. Okay. Now tell me in your own words, what did you understand about the reading? Go ahead, try to summarize it by yourself. I didn't understand, sorry. You didn't understand the reading? No. No, the, the thing you said. The reading, explain in, in the reading in your own words. Um, okay. So, like a movie, I didn't see the movie. What is the movie about? Imagine I didn't read the article. What is the article about? Okay. Tell me. The article was about um, something that happened in a town and the, the people that give that example to explain how the plagiarism affect to the people and to the to the person including when the the time has passed and it happened in a in a school mm -hmm. uh -huh. and it was about more than 100 students that have 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 plagiarism uh, one project in that town in that in that school okay it's a lot of students right mm -hmm. okay yeah. pretty good mm -hmm. most ideas are correct uh, i think only the the one that you are incorrect is not more than 100 students plagiarized. 28 students plagiarized. Okay. But it's okay. I like, I like the exaggeration. I like the exaggeration. It's good. All right. Great job. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lilian. We are going to pause there. And tomorrow we are going to have our exam. The exam, remember, is unit one, two, and three. It's going to be the midterm tomorrow. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a nice night. You too. Bye. Bye-bye.